The following video clip is from TrainSignal's Microsoft Excel 2007 training course, featuring nearly 12 hours of Excel training. Basic formulas, or where's my calculator? Well, we threw it away. We're not going to need our calculators. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and suggest that you don't use your calculator. Let Excel do the work for you. We're going to start with creating formula, very basic, simple formulas for addition. We're going to talk about formula syntax. Then we're going to look at auto sum, which is a really quick shortcut for doing some of these things. And I'll show you the auto calculator. So why don't we go ahead and move to our Excel. Now this is the same workbook that we created earlier. And we're going to go ahead now and start to add up our columns and rows of numbers. We're going to go ahead and we are going to start right here in the first quarter sales. Column C. We want to add up these numbers, figure out what our total sales were for the first quarter for all six of our stores. So in C11, our totals row, we're going to go ahead and write our first formula. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at creating those basic formulas. In Excel, all of our formulas will begin with an equal sign. Typically then we will have the function which is what we want Excel to do for us and then usually in parentheses the range of cells that we're working with. So it's a little bit different than having the equal sign at the end which we might be used to. Equals, function, and then range. So with that in mind we're going to go ahead and we're going to start our formula here and we're going to write it out longhand. I'm going to show you a bunch of different ways. Some of you already may know some of the shortcuts that are available to us for adding, but I'm going to show you the long way because there are times when you're going to need to know how to write that formula out. So we'll start with an equal sign. Then the function we want here is addition, but rather than Starting with that, like I said, we're going to go ahead and do it the long way. So we will put in a parenthesis, and we will list the cell, which is C5. First, we want it to add the value of C5. So we will put in C5. And notice when I do that, I get this blue highlight around that cell. That's kind of a double check for you. It's letting you know that this is the cell you just put in. So if it's wrong, it's obviously, you know, if I had mistakenly put in D5 or, you know, C8 something, it would light up over here. This lets me know that's exactly the cell I want. We're going to add in our operator, whoops, <laughs> plus sign, and we'll put in the next cell that we want, C6. And notice that that highlights in green. Let's go ahead and let's finish this out, C7 plus C8 plus C9 plus C10. Oops, that's equal C10 plus C10. Now, very important, when we have parentheses, if we open them, we have to make sure we close them or we're going to get an error. So that's our formula. C5 plus C6 plus C7 plus C8 plus C9 plus C10. And if you look to our formula bar, it's also up there. So when I want the answer, all I need to do is hit my Enter key. And we see there's my answer, 507,904 and 3 cents. I know that seems like a long way to do it, but remember, I'm showing you how to go ahead and write these formulas. I want you to get that clear and understand what we're doing. And as we go on, we will go ahead and learn some other ways to do these things. For this next column, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to go ahead and we are going to move up here in the upper right corner of our home bar. And you will see this button. It looks like a big E. That's sigma or sum. That is our auto sum button. Go ahead and click that. And see what it's doing? It pretty much wrote our formula for us. We have a blue box with the dancing ants around this entire range that we want to add. And if we look down at our formula, it says equal sum. 
Now remember before we talked about equals function range, sum is our function. So instead of using our plus signs, it put the word sum in. And then in parentheses, our range, d5 colon d10. The colon is a shortcut, and it is d5 through d10. Now, it gives us this as a double check. The d5 through d10 is highlighted in black. If we needed to change it, we could simply type in there. And also, like we saw with our boxes around our cells before, we have this. This is fine, so all we need to do is hit Enter, and we've got our answer. And that is 1,171,802. And when we look in our formula again, it is equal sum d5 through d10. Now, that's a lot easier than writing it out, right? That's about as easy it's gonna, as it's going to get, but I've got some other things that I'm also going to show you. Go ahead and let's click on the next one, and let's switch to our formulas ribbon. Now, up here in this left-hand group, we have all kinds of groups of functions. We have a big giant insert function here, which we'll look at later. Auto sum, which is the same as our auto sum here. See, and then we've got the same thing right there. Let's go ahead and do that again. Hit enter. We're going to do something a little bit different for this column. But before we do, I want to go back here. Let me delete our formula and do this again. We'll go up to auto sum. Now, like we saw before, we get that box with the dancing ants around the range we're going to add up. It writes it in there for us, E5 through E10. Excel is just selecting the cells that it can add, the cells that have numbers in it. It can't add third quarter in there, and there's nothing above here for it to grab. But what if I only wanted it to add up E5 through E7? Well, I could go in here. I could get rid of the 10 and hit a 7 and enter. And you'll see equal sum E5 through E7. Or I can go ahead and I can grab the edge of this box, the corners of this box. I want to get my mouse pointer down here in the lower left corner. You see how I have that double-headed arrow? Not the four-headed arrow, not our move arrow, this double-headed arrow. I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and drag that up. And you see it made my box smaller, it selected those cells, and look at my formula, E5 through E7. Just like we had before. But I want to add all of those, so I'm just going to go back to this. Just be aware, you always want to go ahead and make sure that Excel is selecting the range that you want. With that in mind, we're going to do something a little bit different on this last one. We're going to go ahead and start up here at the top, drag down to select the cells we want to add, and give it one more blank cell for the answer. I'm going to go up here and click on my Auto Sum button. And there's my answer and my formula, equal sum F5 through F10. That's going to go ahead and make it easier for me to, maybe I only wanted to select these three cells. And when I look at my formula, equal sum F8 through F10. So a couple of different ways to basically do the same thing. 